Baker is home to the world's tallest thermometer. Which is pretty cool, but that's not actually why I'm here in town. Just across the road there is where I'm headed. To that giant robotic alien sign, which marks the home of alien beef jerky. Look at the size of this sign. It's huge. And the building itself is a giant spaceship. That is so cool. And what's this out behind the building? They've got some sort of new structure going up. I don't know if it's going to be for coffee or ice cream, but man, that looks impressive. But wait, there's more. What's this? This is the first known sighting of the UFO hotel. Wow, that is impressive. This place has grown from just being a shack to actually one of the more impressive Roadside America attractions that I've seen in a long time. Look at this little spaceship. This is pretty cool. There is an alien inside of there. I think he's taking a nap right now, actually. Taking another look at the building, you can see the scale of this thing. It's massive. It's definitely a sight to behold. Look at those laser cannons. And those tank tracks on the side. And of course, out front in the parking lot, you have a few uh, spaceships full of shoppers ready to buy alien beef jerky. Hello, Mr. Alien. We come in peace. We want beef jerky. All right, let's go take a look inside, shall we? Wow, they've got quite the assortment of, uh, well, everything. It looks like we've got some alien merch, colorful magnets, jewelry, pins, keychains. What are you doing up there, Chewbacca? <laughs> and here's some of that alien fresh beef jerky. Quite the collection of hot sauces. More alien beef jerky. Candies. More beef jerky. A collection of sodas and more hot sauces. Alien license plates. Lunch boxes, stuffed animals, you name it. And some random jarred olives. Okay. There's some petrified wood. Petrified? What does wood have to be afraid of? Check out those bumper stickers. They even have an alien fortune teller. Put a dollar in the machine and the alien reads your fortune. Check out this jar. It has an alien specimen inside. That would look cool on anybody's shelf. And behind the counter, they have an assortment of uh, alien weapons, it looks like. And some more lunch boxes. Don't forget to take a selfie with this alien. These look pretty cool. Area 51 bumper stickers. And they also have Area 51 parking permits that you hang from your rear view mirror. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy an Area 51 bumper sticker. 
So let's uh, let's head outside and um, yeah, let's see where where should I put this on my car? Hmm. Here, maybe down there. All right, it's time to hit the road again. So let's get on the highway and point our Area 51 vehicle towards Las Vegas. This is one of my favorite parts of the drive. Look at how many Joshua trees are out here. It's just a giant plethora of Joshua trees, as far as the eye can see. I love it. On this drive, not many people realize the majority of it takes place in California. It's only when you see your first couple of casinos here that you're actually crossing over into the state of Nevada. And to prove it, look at that sign, that little blue sign. It says, welcome to Nevada. We are now officially in Nevada. It looks like Las Vegas is under an hour away. The sun is starting to go down and off in the distance, I can begin to see the lights of Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! Okay, enough of that. So, where am I headed? The Mandalay Bay? The Luxor? Excalibur? New York, New York? Park MGM? Aria City Center? Cosmopolitan? Bellagio? Maybe Caesar's Palace? No? I'm headed to the El Cortez Hotel and Casino on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. They have some of the best hotel rates in town, free parking, prime rib for $12.95, and much more. Now, of course, all of these hotels make you walk through the casino to get to your room. But whatever you do, resist the temptation to gamble. Do not gamble. No matter how good of a hand you get, the odds are stacked against you. You're going to lose your shirt one way or another, so it's best to just head up to your suite instead. Take a load off and enjoy some of the complimentary coffee and then head back outside across the street to the container park where this giant praying mantis puts on a free flaming fire light show. And then take a stroll around the container park and its many shops and merchants. Rather than dump all of your money into a slot machine and feel miserable about yourself for losing everything, take a stroll and enjoy yourself in the container park. One of my favorite stores here is this toy shop. They have a little bit of everything. Magic tricks, Vintage wind-up toys. Character backpacks, stuffed animals. Cheap little knickknacks. Imported, rare, hard to find toys. A little bit of everything. Look at these cool little pins. Random plastic farm animals. If toys aren't your thing, head on over to the candy shop. I'll let you lick my lollipop. 
Ooh, kettle corn. Who doesn't like kettle corn? Anyway, I think I'll end today's video here, but don't go too far because there's a lot more to do in this town besides gambling. And I think that you'll be pretty amazed at the stuff that I have to show you coming up soon in another video.